lesson we're going to talk about explicit formula for sequences. But we have to really talk about what a sequence is. Informally, it's an ordered list. All right. So numbers appear in the list in a specific order, and each one of these numbers in the list is called a term. Let's like, take a look at a very, very famous sequence called the triangular number sequence. Okay. It starts out by a single dot. And then the next term in this sequence, we have a single dot, and then below it, we have two dots, thus forming a little triangle. And then the next term in this sequence, we have the single dot, the two dots, and then three dots. And this pattern continues with each term getting larger. So there we have now four dots. And let's just do one more real quick term. Let's say we have the single dot, Okay, so there we have one, two, three, four, five terms. All right, now let's count the dots and see what numbers have been generated here. The first term is one. The second term is three. The next term is six. The fourth term is 10. And the fifth term is 15. Now let's play with this a little bit. Rectangular numbers into rectangular numbers by simply recreating the blue dots and turning them into little red X's and flipping them upside down, sticking them beside. You know, you can always create a rectangle by taking two right triangles that are congruent and flipping them and putting them together. So watch what happens. Here we had a single dot we'll put a single red X right beside it. Here we had three dots in a triangular form, and right beside it and flipped upside down, we have three X's in a triangular form. This, these are gonna make what we call rectangular numbers. Okay, it's really kinda of cool. Now, watch the area of the, each of these rectangular arrays. Let's take a look. If we were looking at the total number of marks, this is a one by two array. This is a two by three array. This is a three by four array. This is a one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five array. Notice that the number of columns is always one more than the number of rows.